Welcome to Hong Kong and Beyond, and today we've got a nice little oddity for you. I'm Leon. I'm Shaz. So we're looking at Carry On Hotel, which was one of my Christmas blues, and this film is from 1988. This is the copy I got for Christmas and the synopsis from the back is as follows. The opening of Pan Pacific Hotel is also the opening of life stories of many people. From secret lovers affairs being walked in by private detectives to a theft who disguises as an inspector from triangular affairs of young workers to Valentine want to be who almost loses his life, the great hotel is a stage for life drama. <laughs> well, this certainly was an oddity, and as you can probably guess <clears throat> via the synopsis, there's a lot going on. I would say this is an anthology movie, do you not think? Yeah, it. I think there was like four main stories. Yeah, four, four that we could see, wasn't there? Yeah, so... Um, the first story was sort of a comedy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, it was Charlie Chin um, and Kent Chang sort of focused in on that, that one. And it was a couple in a hotel room being filmed and being watched. Yeah, the bellboys and the uh, staff had set up a couple <clears> of rooms. <throat> one room to do filming of couples and <laughs> one room to do viewing of couples. So your typical CD Hong Kong comedy with all the mm. sex jokes and shenanigans that go with it never really goes that far, but always gives you the impression they're going to. Mm. And it was was some good situational humour. Charlie Chin's basically replicating himself from the My Lucky Star films, where he's being a bit of a Casanova and a bit flaky and silly mm. and uh, trying to con everybody. Uh, I quite like that, and and Ken Cheng also. He was he was quite funny. He had some good mm. gags in it. I, I yeah. always like Ken Cheng, and uh, he seems to handle comedy really well. So yeah, it was quite amusing that bit. So with that story, we led into another one after that, and I think the other one was quite comedic too, wasn't it? it kind of yes. left on the cocktails of that one a little bit. Yes. So the next story sort of focused on Richard Ng and a, a sort of mistaken identity that the hotel staff thought he was like the the overall boss of the hotels, didn't they? But he was actually a thief. <laughs> he was a thief, but because of his ninjutsu <clears throat> booklet that he was carrying in his yes. back pocket, they thought he was the big cheese. Yes. And um, yeah, Richard Ng, again, just like Charlie Chin, he's kind of, Reprising that persona mm -hmm. that he has from the My Lucky Star films, no, no secret there. He's trying to do his magic, making yeah. everybody like, I can read your mind, I can control you, all that sort of thing. Which, you know, nobody does it better. Richard Ng's fantastic at that. Mm. I'd just like to say about the location as well with the hotel. Mm. That hotel is pretty impressive looking. It looked massive, it didn't looked it? It looked huge, didn't it? And, Lifts uh, on the outside. And talk about paper decorations down the middle. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if they were yeah. paper, but you know what I mean. It looked like our paper decorations going right down the middle of the mm. whole tower, like a big triangular sort of vista that you're looking through. Mm. And uh, yeah, there was some good, you know, situations. It reminded me a little bit of All You Need Is Love. Yeah. But I'd yeah. say this one was a bit funnier. Possibly. possibly yeah. Well, like, like you say, you got the first two sort of main stories that were quite funny. But then we moved into a strange sort of thriller um, section. Um, this section starred Eric Tang and Cherry Chung and Pat Ha. Yes, well, as you can probably guess, I was extremely thrilled this section. Um, Cherry Chung, <coughs> count me in. Yeah. I mean, she always looks fantastic in this era in these films. I mean, she looks fantastic now, but she particularly back then did. And, um, you know, 
those of you out there that bought the 88 version of On The Run, you will be familiar with Pat Ha. She's the assassin that um, mm. is in the film with you and view. And she's in this and she teams up with Sherry Chung and gives bald Eric Sang a bit of a nightmare of a time. Yeah, it was quite scary, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I don't get us wrong, you, you're not going to lose sleep out for it, but no, it was no. it was quite... To go from it's the sort quite of, intense. To go from the comedy stories uh, and into this story, it felt a bit strange. It was, because... But it was good. Tonally, it completely shifted. Mm. Completely shifted, and they were playing it like straight horror. Yeah. And um, even though it was still situationally funny, it was like straight horror, that mm. bit, the way it was yeah. filmed. Yeah, uh, I, I quite liked it, actually, you know, and... Um, yeah. Yeah. I've never been like nervous to Sherry Chung before, but in this maybe a little bit. So, but I did like <laughs> I did kind of like that segment. Yeah, it was okay. And the final segment, Chaz, who was in that? Yeah. So this was um, like a romance sort of segment, and it starred Jackie Chung and Joey Wong and Cecilia Yip. Mm -hmm. And so that was that was quite a nice story, wasn't it? Like. It was that was a really good story actually. Mm. I'd say out of all the four stories that we've mentioned, that that was the strongest one. Mm. Yeah, you know, I think it was so, yeah. quite endearing, and Jackie Chung, you know, shows a bit of star quality in this. He's uh, he is a good lead. He's very charismatic, mm. and um, Joey Wong's good as well. And mm -hmm. and Cecilia, yep, she actually, you know. She brings out the acting in this, you know, you, you buy into her part that she's playing. The role that she's playing is sort of... Um, she's like a tomboy, wasn't she? Yeah. And she's like the spurned love interest, if you mm. like. And it's just a sort of a bit of a love triangle, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. She's got a thing for Jackie Chung. Jackie Chung's got a massive thing for Joey Wong. Leon's got a thing for Joey Wong. And Cecilia, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so again, another, another one that I like but for different reasons. Mm. This I found quite endearing, and mm. if I was gonna pick one to have been a full <laughs> film, this would have been it for me. How about you? Yeah, no, I agree. I think it was it was a, a really strong story, mm. albeit very small, very yeah. short story. Yeah, so it was a bit of a mishmash. They didn't mm. kind of set it up as individual stories or directly as an anthology. It's kind of played out as a whole film mm. and I think it would have worked better if they'd said this is an anthology, this is story one, this is story two, this is story three, and this is story four. Yeah, maybe because you, you could possibly get a little lost from where one story finishes to the yeah. next one starts up. You yeah. might lose your track of yeah of how the film's get, you know going, where it's going. So, any more words on this one, Shaz? Um, it was directed by Jeff Lau. I'm not sure. Have we seen much by him? Yeah, he's he's, he's, he's done a lot of the Hong Kong comedies that we watch. Okay. And um, you know the Eagle Shooting Heroes, <laughs> and um, films like that. He's done tons, tons of comedies. And um, yeah, this is a bit of an oddity for him. Actually, mm. I would say mm. it's probably not one of his strongest films, mm. but it is a nice little Hong Kong oddity, you know. And if you like digging down the well, going in through the caves, the gutters, the sewers, just like we do, then you might find something in this that something. you enjoy. Mm -hmm. Oh knows? yeah, definitely, definitely. And um, you found that there was a song from this film sung by Jackie Chung, didn't you? And you were trying to find a copy of it. I was. I liked the song. I said, I bet that's Jackie Chung. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sure enough, on the, on the credits, it is Jackie Chung and... I think it's called Blue Jeans, but then I'm not 100% positive because something else made it look like it was called I Love You something. Yeah, like that. it did, didn't it? But it's about 1988, so if anybody has any information on that and you know the song, please let us know. Drop us a comment below or send us an email at hongkongblurays at gmail.com and we'd be extremely grateful. Right, is it time to score this, Shaz? It is. Okay. For me, this one was fun but it wasn't a classic. If they sent it on that one story with Jackie Chung and Joey Wong, I probably would have given mm. it more. But as it is, it's a six out of 10 for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the same page as you. I'm scoring 6.5. I did enjoy it, but I don't feel like you say it's a classic. Yeah, pity really. 
But, you know, come back next time, we might have something better for you guys. Just a few words about the disc before we go. So it's a CN Entertainment disc. I think it's multi-region, isn't it? Yep, A, B and um, C. So wherever you are, you can get yourself a copy of this and watch quite happily. CN Entertainment always for these good quality mm. blues. And this was a good quality, wasn't it? It was good. good. Picture, it think. was good. Sometimes you put on the trailer and you have a bit of panic, like, oh my God. And then you put on the film and it's like, poof, it does look good. Mm. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I like it. I think we've got interior imagery on this blue, have we? Yep. Nice picture of Joey Wong. Yeah, so, yeah. It's, it's a nice release. And when these releases have been out for a while, such as this one has, you'll find them on your stores like DVD House and BOEL, quite reasonably priced because they tend to drop after mm. they've been out for a while. Mm. This was again a bargain bin one for us, which is what we do at Christmas because we're really tight and don't like to spend too much money. Um, anything else you'd like to add before we go, Shaz? I think we've covered everything. Okay then, that's it for this episode. And remember, never mix your mustard with your custard. You don't know what that's going to do to you. And we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>